Hmm. Yes, we are live. We are alive and well and happy, happy, happy. Put this up here. And put this mouse over here. And I think I have everything ready to do the Freddy. And we're going to go here. And let's see. Oh, Kelly is there. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Oh, great. That's wonderful. I see Kelly. And that says there's seven viewers. Oops, oops, oops. I'm going to get my mouse. Why does it say that on my computer screen? I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, there I am. There I are. There I are. Kansas City Star. And Jeannie and Anne, Lisa Blight, Johanna. Is it Johanna with a J or Johanna with like a Y? Johanna? Because I seen somebody else that's the name of Johanna and but she calls herself Johanna, Johanna without a J. So I wondered if yours was the same way. Hi, um, Susan. Hi, Angela Snyder, Janie Sills. And there is Nancy Forsley and Ann Osborne, Angela Snyder. All my people. See, if I, knew, if I named you twice, then that means I got, I got all these peeps. Maybe. Trucker Janie. Hi, Trucker Janie. Kelly, Susan, and oh, it says I have 19 viewers. That's just absolutely astonishing. Astonishing, astonishing. Oh, had to get me a little drink there. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this cup. Y'all don't want to look at that cup. It's my Yeti hook. My Yeti mug. I'll put that right down here. There we go. Now it's not in our way. We don't want anything in our way. Okay. I'm glad you guys are here. It's been an absolutely wonderful day. Mary Yoakum from Kentucky. Yoakum, what you know that name? I would have guessed you were from Kentucky. Yeah, that's a wonderful. Okay. At last. Did I? Yes, I'm here at long last. You've been nagging me for the last hour. Um, yeah, she, my sister died. I she just nagged me. No, uh -huh. that's what she does. That's what she does. Yep. Says there's 21 viewers. Can you just imagine that? 21 viewers. Well, um, you didn't come just to watch me and listen to me. Run my mouth, I'm sure. Kathleen Elliott. Oh, this is wonderful. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, some of you already saw me make um, some bags. Oh, and Pat says she's going to be watching my, my live while she's having her treatments. She just sent me a little message. So that's Pat Sweeney. So I just love you, Pat Sweeney. And I um, hope your treatment goes good. And, okay, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I'm going to show you this. Yes, I'm sure some of you saw me make this here Thanksgiving card or fall card. Uh, Thanksgiving, because it says Thanksgiving right here. But you saw me make this out of um, out of a paper bag. All right. And it's got a little folder in there. It's got tags. And it's got a little folder here. And a um, little folder there. It says warm sweaters. Here's um, tags right in here. And I'm basically going to do the same thing, but I am, I am going to, and here you may have seen, if you saw this, untie this, and then there's a, a ziggy zag flip, flip out there as well in the card. So it's really a fun card. It's really fun. Okay. 
basically that's what I'm going to be making again, but I'm going to be doing them for, um, I'm going to do that for um, Christmas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recycle used greeting cards. Now, I got very lucky on these bags. My daughter, she was going to the, I don't usually go to you. I don't usually go to the Goodwill. But my daughter was going to the, she was going to, um, oh, she was going to the um, Lowe's. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to ride with you because they got the, um, the Goodwill is right next door to Lowe's. I said, I can run into the Goodwill and see if there's anything I can't live without. And so I found these bags. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of bags, eight packages. Hi, Nancy and Susan, Susan Hellinghausen. Wow, how wonderful. Two Susan H's here. Yes, and so, but these were all in another bag for a dollar eighteen cents for the. I don't know where they get that eighteen cents thing, but and these are all from Paper Abilities, NPR Paper Abilities, and then there's I think ten, ten bag, yeah, ten bags in each package. So there was two whites. And all the rest are red. And I thought, oh, how lucky I got. Because I have a friend coming. I have a friend coming any day now. My friend Lorraine, she lives in Canada. But she comes to Florida every year, her and her husband, and spend a couple months here in Florida to try to kind of avoid all that snow and stuff. Hi, Pearl. Oh, gosh, Pearl Manhattan. Oh, my goodness. I just love her. I just started watching Pearl. And Pearl Manhattan, Mama Pearl, she is awesome. I could just listen to her all day long. Absolutely love you, Manhattan. She is wonderful. And so you look her up. Um, I don't think she's been on very, very long. And she um, does a little bit of everything. And she plays the auto harp. I've not met anybody else that plays the auto harp. And I love the auto harp. And, um, and she plays the auto harp. And and sings along with it, and oh my gosh, I love it! And so, yes, that's that's my mama Pearl. There's Karen and Mandy, Nancy, all of you. Oh, and Gail, hi, Gail. Oh my goodness. So, anyway, this I just took the bag just out of how it is out of the package, and I folded it in half to where this bottom flap is on on the outside and it'll open this way like a card. All right. And then the fun thing about this is you can use this card either way. Hi, Carrie. And um, either way, you can use it to have an image. Your image is going to go on the bottom of the sack. It's going to go bottom. So right here, I'm putting this image from the used card right on the bottom. So if we do it this way, the portrait, the um, landscape, then this card, well, let me just glue that on there like I know what I'm doing. Let me just glue this on here. I'm going to make a couple of these and show you um, what I do. Because now the bags, you if you want like the colored bags, you can get them. Um, most any craft store has them. Michael's, Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, any of those, AC Moore, you can get them. Or you can use a lunch bag. Now the lunch bag... Um, Oh, yes, 
I understand that, Trucker Janie. Yes, I know you've been driving all day. Yes. Oh, you play the harpsichord. Does that count? Well, I don't know what a harpsichord is. Is a isn't a harpsichord like a piano? I don't know. Jane, you just eating what you eating. I always wanted to know what people are eating. So now here, I just cut this. Um, and Gail is cold. She's got to put on a sweater. I was watching Emily earlier, just a little bit earlier. And she's only up there in, in um, Georgia, not that much farther than me. And she was freezing. But then she's not eat on her bones like those of us who are smart and eat plenty of... Um, um, eats plenty of donuts, so we have plenty of fluff. A harpsichord is a musical instrument played by means of sword, which activates a row of levers that in turn trigger a mechanism that plucks one or more strings with a small plectrum. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's clear as mud. Yeah, turkey and cheese sandwich. Yeah, I like turkey and cheese. Oh, my goodness. Um... You know what? I am going to research a harp. I had to write that down. I'm going to research a harpsichord because I've heard of that before. I'm going to write that down. I got to write stuff down because otherwise I forget. Just quick as, quick as I forget. Harpsichord. Actually, I like playing. Uh, I play a, uh, uh, what did I just say? Auto harp. And I like to play a, a lap dulcimer. Either one of them are not too hard. So I, um, so yeah, I like to play those, but my harp is not in tune. And, um, oh, it's a classical music instrument. I'm going to look that up. I am because I'm just curious as to know, um, um, what, what that is. I'm, I'm curious now. Now, I'm going to, okay, all right, now, this is a card that I took apart. Oh, this is what I was going to do. I'm going to put this piece, this I cut off of the front. Now, well, this one I was already doing, so I wish it didn't start when that's half done. And, and, and this is the, the, this was on the front. It says, may the promise of that special star, which was too long, so I cut it. And I'll just put it on here, like stagger it on there. And this piece come out of the inside of the card. Okay, and that one will go on the inside of this card. Now, and then this can set up just like this. Well... It will set up without that there. I mean, it'll, this part here will actually hold this. So the card will, will stand that way. Okay, so there's a lot more you can do with it, but I'm going to start another one so I can be more, so I can show you a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take my bag. Okay, see, I was working on them when I was getting ready to start. Okay, I'm going to take my bag and I'm going to fold it. Just fold it right in half. And once I fold this in half, because it's about four and a half inches by four and a half inches when it's folded, a little bit more than four and a half and a little bit less than four, four and a half, a little bit more than four and a half, a little bit less than four and a half. So that's what, and you can make any size envelope to go with them. So, um, hi, Beetle Chick. No, I was not on last night, last week. Big chick, I was feeling a little bit tiny, on the tiniest bit under the weather. Nothing serious. So I missed last week, and I missed all of you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder, and I'm going to make sure that that's folded well. Because, see, I... um. Make sure that's folded well there and make sure this is folded well here. All right. And then what I do, whoops, this way. It opens this way. Then now you can or you you, or you don't have to. You 
I um, usually do go ahead and glue, put a little bit of glue down in here just to hold, just to kind of just, um, you just I just do, I, I don't have a reason. I was trying to think of a reason, but it didn't come to me. Hi, Bootsy. Oh, there's Bootsy. I just love him. I just love him. He is so awesome. My brother Bootsy. Okay, um, there we go. So now this is just the sack, just like this. Then I find a um I got a basket of Christmas. <laughs> Went to look him through for my used Christmas cards this morning, and doggone it, it said, "My word, I'm um running out." I've used him. I I make everybody save me their Christmas cards. Sometimes now this one's an unused one, but look at that beautiful image on the front. Now what I do is is um hi Susan Taylor Brown and Patricia Stubbs, Kathy Hawks, River. Oh my goodness, all these wonderful ladies. This and gents. I forgot. I, I can't miss my my book. He's a gent. Now I measure to see what size that I'm going to want my image to be on the front, which is this paper bag part. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Now and so I find that my bag, see, now your bag may be different, so you'll have to measure. But see, my bag is two and three quarters by about four and a half. So what I did was I cut this. Now, if you, um, like from packaging, this um, plastic that comes in a package. Oh, and there's Lottie Faith. Hi, and Aaron. Erin Morrison, and there's Trish. Oh, my goodness. How wonderful to see everybody. Now, what I did was I cut this piece of, well, it's just plastic. It's more than even acetate. But I cut that to be the size I want the image to be right here. Now, this makes you able to go and look at your card. And you can see, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this one. Let's see. I'm going to cut this. I want, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, so I'll take my pencil and I then see, I can see exactly where that's going to be cut. Now, see, the rest of this card can still be used. But see, this is this is the best way to get exactly what you want on the front of your card. And then I... Oops. Here. I want to lose this. Okay. And then I can cut it and, and get it cut. Just right. Just right. And that's the way we want things. Just right. You know. Okay. Look on the back of this card. It's got that little bitty image too. And so, oh, but I might take the verse. Sometimes I have the verses. Some you know, from inside the card, but some of the, my friends that save me cards, they cut, they cut the verse out and just give me, or they just give me the front, which is okay too. I can use them. So now this is going to fit. Oh, you know what? I want to cut it. Just, oh, I had it marked just, just a little bit less. I want it just a little bit less than that because I want a little bit more red to show around the edge. And so I'm thinking that if you go, I'm sure they'll have red, green, blue, silver, gold, whatever colors, or even white. Now, there we go. So now that's just right now. Okay, so this is going to go right here on the front of this card. Now, 
Okay, and it's ready. I can go ahead and glue that on there already. So I'm going to make this one in the portrait shape. Now on this, I'm not going to do like I did my 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 Thanksgiving card. I won't be putting this on the front because I'm not going to cover up my image. I probably won't do that on any of them. But if I wanted to, I could do it on the inside. So now I'm going to take, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take a, another piece of this art and this, this little narrow piece right here at the bend. Now you don't want to put a piece all the way across because then it won't fold right here. Hi, Sherry Miller, Tanya McGuire, Melissa. Oh my goodness. Look at all of you 54 people. The room's getting crowded. Okay, so then that measures an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this piece to an inch and an eighth. I want it to be an inch and an eighth. One inch and an eighth, which will be like approximately right here. So pretty. So now, and then it's going to go right here. So I'm going to cut that now. What did I say that was? Okay, I'm going to cut that to four and a quarter. Just a tad more than four and a quarter. Yeah. Right, right there. And so there, I got the toy sack that was there. And so that's going to glue right there. It's got package on it. It's beautiful. Now... I'm going to put that right there. Now, if you have like a lunch bag or maybe, I so have to get around and make one of those cards you have been doing there. Just awesome. Thank you, Tanya. I love the card. I think it's, I haven't seen one like this anywhere before, but, um, and so I call myself the Ben Franklin, you know, but I don't know if I really am because somebody else may have already done this. So now, okay, you have that there and I have this here. Now I still have, I have this little piece, which it's a package in an airplane and a drum and a teddy bear. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece. So I'm going to cut that. And so this is what you're going to have to do. If you, you know, what, because you're going to have to know your size of the bag, whatever bag you have, because your bags may not be anywhere near the same size as mine. So this one I'm going to make, I'm going to cut this at two and five eighths. And that will fit two and five eighths right there. And then that will fit in my little spot right there. You see, there's going to be very little of this card front that will go to waste. Well, it will not go to waste because you know what? I save these pretty little pieces and put them on my clusters. And I have found that I love little clusters. And these little pieces like this will make beautiful Christmas clusters. See that one there? Okay, now what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to put this little strip off of there too, just to have for my Christmas clusters. There. Okay, now may your Christmas be filled. And since I can still use this, this verse inside, I'm not going to go ahead and cut that. I'm going to cut it out too. Now, do I want to? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut that to where. See, sometimes if you've got a card that is been already used and there's a signature and stuff, sometimes they write and get right over right there, right over it and put on the and stuff. Those ones I don't use. I don't reuse. 
that's going to go on here. Okay, just a second. Hold your horses. Now this one, let me cut that just a tad more narrow. Just get a sliver. You know, I don't measure real good and stuff, so. This is going to go like this. But then I'm going to take this piece now still, and I'm going to use, because I have a snowflake punk paper punch here. And I'm going to punch out a couple of snowflakes in. Well, however many I can cut out of this piece. This piece, this punch I've had, I love this snowflake. It is so pretty. This punch, Grant Abram, Gr Abramson. I have a few ideas on collecting supplies for very little money. One, of course, is checking the recycle section of the town transfer station. At the dump, really? I wonder if they have something like that here. I wonder. I got to write that down, too. I got to write that down. Check. I got to call the landfill. Call landfill. I, yeah, I got to write stuff down. I forget. That's a good idea. Oh, and there's Karen. Okay, Johanna, your husband just got out of the hospital. And how, is he doing okay? I assume he is if, he, if they let him out. Yes. Oh, Pearl, your dump sends everything to the Goodwill. Oh, goodness, because the Goodwill usually charges too much. Although I got lucky on my bags. I think very lucky on my bags. Okay, it's snowing down south here. I've got to get my snowflakes. And um, Sonia, not fun. It's your fifth. It's your fifth what? Oh, Karen bought. Lots going on tonight. Yes, I was looking at how many how many lives were going, and there's a lot of people live tonight. Yes. Do you have good, you know, um, Beetle Chick, I think it depends on your area, whether or not, you know, the, um, the here we have a lot of um, retired people that have, like, pretty good money, and so they charge more. But if we go to the county below us, there's more of middle class or lower middle class people. So when you go to the thrift stores there, they're, um, they charge a lot less. So that's right, because I am of the poor class. I'm not poor, really. I shouldn't say that. But... Um, I'm not poor at all. I've got my family and my friends. I've got all of you. And um, okay, so now I've got, I've got my um, there now. I've got some snowflakes. So what I think I want to do here, you know, I might have, I might have wanted to mat that with white. Would that would be a good idea too? But I didn't. So since I didn't, it's all good. And I'm going to glue this small piece in here. That one. See, it there. But I'm going to use my snowflakes then to fill that area up here. Here I got some blue snowflake. Well, no, that won't really green like that that would go good but I don't think I want to put the blue but um but then these snowflakes looks pretty doggone wicked right there no they don't look wicked Elizabeth they look beautiful and so and so then you can fill vacancy with snowflakes now what I'll probably do Another thing we can do then is, let's see, you just make sure that that fold stays to where you can fold it. Oh, Grace, your grandbaby is a girl. 
Oh my word. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, granddaughter. See, now you can start. Now you can start buying and knitting and crocheting and sewing everything pink. Oh, yes. Oh, congratulations. You are going to. Well, I know you love her already. Have they picked a name yet? Um, the Snow Peak Punch is made by EK Success. And, um, but like I say, I've had this for like forever. So, and you know how things just go. It's really pretty. It's got glitter in it. But, so hopefully they still have it. But I'm sure they got a lot of snowflakes. But I really love this snowflake. And so what I'll probably do is use some stickles, like silver stickles, and go around in here some too. I won't do that right now, though, because I still have to open it. Okay, now here, I'm going to just take this now, and I'm going to put in, let me see, do I want to just... I might just want to border it a little bit like this. Maybe I would want to do that. I don't know. Let me see. Let me save those right there. That's an idea, though. See, like I don't have all my, you know, these are white. I'm going to go ahead and cut, pop some snowflakes out of there so that I can just throw the rest of this away. I would really have to throw the rest of that away. I could maybe, yeah, I could maybe even, yeah, I'll throw it away. I've got this thing about not throwing anything away. So let me put, oh, 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 oh. Now, what I want to do here now is, oh, I got to punch these two. I don't hardly throw any paper away if there's um, space, if I can make something out of it like this, is big enough to make these snowflakes. So I know I'm going to be needing a lot of snowflakes between now and, and Christmas because it seems like there's so many things you can make for Christmas. Look at them. I'm going to make my Jeffrey's Advent calendar. Oh, that's going to be fun, 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 fun. Very fun. Okay, let me see. Oh, I was just going to turn around and do something. What was I going to do? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. No, I wasn't. Okay. Let me throw these away. Now. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to look in this here paper pack that I have. And I'm going to have to, let me see. Okay, I have to get something that's not too, 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 too busy in this paper pack. The reason being is because I don't want it. Wendy just sent me some absolutely gorgeous paper. But it's... um. It's, well, not busy, busy, but it's, but it's too beautiful for me to cut. It's um, vintage Christmas. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, it, oh, it's, it's, um, oh, this is pretty. This might work. I want something that's not too, that won't take away from, this might be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and I'm going to cut a piece. I did just clean my desk off just for you all. I'm going to cut this piece here at um, oh, four inches by four and a half, four by four and a half. So I'm gonna go four this, 
I need the four this way. Is that the way? See how quickly I forget? No, I need four and a half that way. Okay, so we'll go four and a half. Five, four. Okay. Well, I didn't do that right. I'll save that. Okay, so I wanted it, the trees to go. The trees I want to be four and a half. Okay. Four and a half trees. Remember that, trees. Now, do I have this right? Pretend, pretend, just, just go on and talk amongst yourselves. Pretend I'm not here. Pretend, yeah, just pretend. Pretend to something. I don't know what you're going to pretend, but see, I don't usually do things that I have to measure. <gasps> Irma! Hi, Irma Brewer. Oh, my goodness. I just love my little Irma, too. Now, now it fits. See? I don't usually do, do things where you got to measure, and this is exactly the reason why, is because I don't do a very good job. But I needed my trees to go this way. And then this will go on this, like this, that away. Then I want another piece that I'm going to cut right in here because I'm not going to go over the fold. So I need to cut me a piece that is two and a half with the trees going this way. Two and a half. Two and a half with the trees going that way. And so we will do that. I'm just taking my time. I know. I know that I got... Two hours. I stay two hours. What time is it? And I still got another hour and a half. So I got an hour and a half to finish this here, this here card, this here Christmas card. But my friend Lori, Lorraine, she's not on here, is she? My friend, they might be on their way already. They drive down from Canada. That's quite a little bit of a drive. I can't measure with that paper. I can measure with this stick. This mission. I've got to get me a new one of these mission sticks. I have this, have had this for a long time, but my numbers are wearing off. And so, but I do like this mission stick, and the lines are rubbing off, and I've got glue stuck all over it. Yeah, I don't treat my stuff very nicely, and then they wear out. Okay, this is going to be, well, I want it the same as this one, which is four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. I should have already ordered that. I should have ordered it today when I was looking. Who was I watching? Oh, Mary. Mary Alt. I can only really say her whole name. The Mary Artelier. Do you know? You know who I'm talking about. I was watching her and she was carving a stamp. I was instantly addicted. So I had to go to Amazon. And Lizzie, check out the video I made today. I showed the lace you sent and the extra goodies. Thank you so much. Oh, Irma, thank you. You're so kind. Oh, you found a metal one at the Dollar Tree? I might have to get a metal one. But the thing is I like about this one is it's got those lines quarter inch lines in there and that's why and so I can go straight I can see my like I can see the paper through it like that and make sure it's straight yeah I still don't get it straight but um what was I saying oh Mary M-E-R-I Mary the alt eightler eightlier I can't say it but anyway my Tim Holtz ruler also lost its numbers. I took a fine Sharpie and added them back. Oh, you know what, Pat? I'm going to do that. I can do that. Just a fine tip Sharpie. Um, yeah, because that's permanent. You're right. I'm going to do that. Because uh -huh, that's what I'm going to do. 
See, you just saved me six bucks. I think they're like six bucks for that ruler. But she was carving a stamp. And she just made a scribble stamp. And she just carved it. And I just watched her. I was mesmerized just watching her do that. So I had to go to Amazon and find me. Um, they had a kit for like $10 and something that you get the that stuff, the foamy stuff that you that you um, carve of it and um yeah they are expensive pat yep and so but that's what i'll do i'll redo i didn't think about doing that and that's a really really good idea but anyway yeah i wouldn't order because i want to carve some stamps hi turtle turtle creativity i think i know you by another name Turtle, because I don't think your mother named you Turtle. And I bet your last name isn't Creativity. So I bet you have another name. But anyway, I'll call you Turtle for now because turtles are beautiful. And um, oh, what am I doing? I tend to lose track of what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at, I got it at four and a half, correct? Four and a half. Correct, your mundo. So I'm going to cut that at four and a half. But yeah, so I'm, I, I will get that because I got that prime, you know, and so they can, um, Diet. Is your name Diet? Is that what you said? Diet? If it is, I love that name. Diet. I love that name. That is pretty. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut this one. See, I'm gonna cut that at one and five eighths. One and five eighths width. One and five eighths width. No, I think that's too wide. Let me measure that again. Oh, yeah, that would be too wide. So I want it one and three eighths. Three eighths. One and three eighths. Don't ever take anything I say serious because it's probably not exactly right. So then we're going to put that one there. Let me go working upside down. So this one will go here. This one will go here. And this one will go here. And see what I say. You've got to kind of measure your own bag to find your right size. And then see how that looks so pretty? That just looks pretty right there. And that gives it a bit more color and a little more pizzazz. So we'll put this one here, right there. And then we're going to put this one. I just noticed that I folded it the wrong way it's well there is no real wrong way to fold it but the little um tab pull tab on it is um ah, on the wrong side okay see so then the folds where it folds then i don't have tape. it's just the bag and so where it folds it's just back See, this is what I mean by I folded. I really wanted that in the middle, in the inside, but I didn't get it in the inside. So if I would have folded it this way, this way, that would have been in the inside. So it's not a big deal, though. You know what? No big deal. Okay, so you know what I wonder? I wonder sometimes this paper. I wonder if I make a green snow wave. What if I make two green snowflakes? What if I add a couple green snowflakes in with the white snowflakes? You know what? I think I'm doing that because then the front will blend in better with the middle. So you never know that you might have green snowflakes now who's who said i just read a while ago somebody said it was snowing was that you gail is it snowing up your way 
Oh, I got the air conditioner on here in my room. I've been having the hot flashes all day. Yeah, Gracie, Timmy is doing well. He is doing well as can be expected. And so he's just kind of staying to himself. And he's getting along well. So he has a little problem with the depression. But other than that, you know, that's probably to be expected. So I got green snow, and then I'm going to doctor these up with um, stickles. Thank you, Gracie. He can use all the prayer that he can get. So there's Saint. Um, this is all one card. Now I'm going to put this. Let me see. I'll cut just a wee tap more off of the bottom of this so that I can see more. Now see here, then there's room right there for the um you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just put that along the edge i'm gonna kind of not have it right in the middle i'm gonna put it kind of right in the edge right here and then i'm going to take a piece of this strip you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take i'm gonna cut that in half half in two I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to put that on there for just a little decoration. I'm going to put this one right here like this, and then I'm going to take this one and put that one right there, offset the two, and just do like that. And I think that's very pretty. And then we're going to just snowflake. Now here, let's see. What is, what is this piece right here? You know, that's a part of the door. There's no reason I can't put that on there. Let all the card be on there. Just You can just take, you can have so much fun with the... Um, and you know what? You can't go and buy cards like this. You won't find them. You will. You um. You you won't find cards like this in the card shops or in the you know anywhere. You're not going to find them unless you go to craft shows and find cards that ladies like us have made and they're selling them. And the craft shows are all starting now, so you can go and you can buy these things. But see how pretty that will look with a little stickles right in the center. And then I can take, let me see. I think I'm, I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. This one's a little bit wider. I should have put a wide and a skinny. But that's okay. This is going to be fine. Because it's got the colors, the red. It's actually part of Santa's suit, but you can't even tell it. It just looks like it's just beautiful. And so I am going to just do it this way. And somebody might look at it and say, oh, that's Santa's suit. Okay, and then what we do. I love it. I love it. Now, I'm going to make, now, shall I use, you can use another little card. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Now, this piece that's going to go inside here. Let's see. Let me. Oh, wait a minute. I bet this paper that I got from Wendy. Oh, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. I can't believe she sent me the most beautiful collection of papers. This one's all Christmas. Vintage Christmas collection from Authentique. But, oh, you know what? 
you wouldn't really have you wouldn't really I was going to make a fold card in there but you know you don't really have to do this this Oh, this is what I'm going to do because since I have, look at these beautiful things and it's all so vintage. Oh my gosh. Right up my alley. I love vintage. Look at that. The first page that's there and I'm hooked. Okay. Now I'm going to cut these. These are cards and I think they're going to fit. Oh, do you know what? Or just a minute. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to actually, I think these are going to be a little bit big for the card because I think they're, yeah, because those are six inches wide and the card's, card is only four and a half. But, see, so this, oh, these are beautiful. Oh, these are beautiful and this is what i say authentic paper oh my gosh now oh i'm just throwing that into one now i wonder if i were just fold this in half to wish you a merry christmas day and a very glad year on the way isn't that beautiful? I can see these are actually, I think, supposed to be two small card, um, like tags or something. But if you fold it right in half, it makes just a beautiful, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. And look at that. See this one here, but that won't fit in. And I would not want to fold this one in half. So... Let me see. Let me look again. Oh, 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 how beautiful. Oh, my gosh. One minute. I'm looking through this paper. Oh, my gosh. This one here. Look at this. Now... Oh, look at this paper right here. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to cut a piece of this off because this is all stamps. This is all Christmas stamps, 1936, 1964. Oh, look at this. Look at these. These are just beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece right here on the front. See, and so I'm going to need to have a piece that is going to be two and a quarter by three and a half. Two and a quarter by three and a half. So I want it three and a half this way. Okay, so I'm going to cut that at three and a half. <gasps> this paper, don't you agree? It's beautiful. Three and a half. Authentic. The Vintage Christmas. Okay, now, and then I'm going to cut that. That's right, and I'm going to cut that at two and a half. This is pretty. This is beautiful. Okay, so now, <gasps> that will go on there. Look at now, should I have a little bit of red around this? No, I'm not going to. I think it would be pretty if I was to layer it and do a little bit more layering on there. Maybe I should because then, hang on a minute. I got to get some red. Red back. Just plain red. Oh, take me a second. Well, of course.
Okay, now I got some red. Now what I'm gonna do, just want a tiniest bit of red frame. So I'm gonna put this just the tiniest bit. So I'm gonna put this. Good night, Karen. Is Karen going good night? Grant says night, everyone. Have a good night. Grant, thank you for the idea. I'm going to look up. I'm going to check with our landfill and see if they have a place you can go and pick through stuff. Boy, I'm a dumpster diver. Well, I would be a dumpster diver if I climb in one anymore. I can't climb into a dumpster anymore. But, oh, yeah. Give me a dumpster and I'll climb in it. I used to climb in them when I was, like, young and spry. I've lost that spryness. Okay, so then I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut around that just to have a little. That's more of a pink than a red, isn't it? But it's close enough. Close enough for horseshoe. Okay. Now. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better with that little bit of red around it. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Okay. All right. Now, I am going to, this is just wonderful. Now, this will go on the front. And see, and it really does match because here, it it's not, see, this is, Vintage, this is not, but it's still the colors. Well, you know, the Christmas colors, red and green. And, um, okay, did I, Grant is actually Melissa. Oh, Melissa, darling. Oh, goodness gravy. It doesn't take much itch. <laughs> That's right, Bootsy. I'm confused with you. Grant equals Melissa. Bootsy equals Troy. I was pretty much, and Grace is just plain old Grace. <laughs> Grandma Grace. We're going to have to call her Grandma Grace. Oh, Gigi. We'll call her Gigi. Grandma Grace is Gigi. But anyhow, okay, well, that's good to know she was Melissa. Now, you know what I'll probably do is go ahead and stick a little. No, for that doesn't show up. Okay, um, and now this will go in here inside the the pocket. See, and you can actually actually put whatever you want in the pocket. See, you can put um, if you're writing a letter, sending a letter with your um with your you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what? My I always have the same trouble with my my um my tongue wraps around my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. You know? Okay, wait a sec. I gotta um. Where's my little tiny doohickey? Oh, I put it in the wrong drawer. See, I can take just a little bit of a. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this. I think I will. Please don't be broken. Hush. Oh, it worked. I just had to get a little help. There we go. See, now with that little punch there, um, <laughs> beetle doesn't equal juice. To, I don't know. See, beetle juice. I watched the movie. There you go. Then see, then that's better to have that in there. And then you can see the little card. And so, and like I say, now you can put your signature here or you can put it in the inside or you can, this could then even be used as a tag on a gift. And that'd be a pretty tag on a gift. So you could put more Christmas tags in here. You could just fill that up with Christmas tags. But isn't that pretty? And look, and it stands up so nice. It just stands up so nice. And so a lot of times you try to stand your cards up and they want to fall over. This one's not going to hardly fall over because see what shape it is. And so it's not this way, this way. And so, but I think they're just gorgeous. And so then you can just take your paper. You can make a... um. 
envelope and making envelopes is like such a no-brainer <coughs> there's so many ways to make an envelope now for this one for instance <coughs> Just with this scrap of paper I have right here. Let me see. Yeah. Now, that's just that scrap of paper that I have right there. But I can make an envelope out of that. I can just fold this part up. Like this. I'll fold that up just like this. And then... Well, this one just like this. Now, you can take your sewing machine. You can take your sewing machine if you want to. And you can stitch this right along the edge. And you have an envelope. Close this with a little bit of glue or washi tape or whatever. And... You'll have an envelope perfect fit for, um, you can maybe, if you would want to, as you can, you know, fold this, if you want to make it look more like an envelope, you can cut, fold your, fold your corners in. There's no right and wrong way to make an envelope. Let's see there. Now. I can just glue this edge, or if it was a little bit wider, I would cut, I would cut along here, cut these from here, cut all the way up, and then there would be little flat here that could glue inside. But see, right here, I'm going to take just a wee bit of glue and go, oh, I should put it on there. I should have put it right there. Then I know how far to go. Just a weensy bit, and then glue that. And there's an envelope. Yep. Hi, Dana. Oh, my goodness, how wonderful. Look at that. How wonderful. See there? And then, um, and then what you do when you make... All the when you make envelopes out of your Christmassy papers, you can, you know, we all probably have our um, these little. I got a clothesline hanging up here, I hang stuff from. Gotta hang things from the ceiling. Look at there, you can put it there. Then, if you have one of them little label, to um, have one of those little. Um, sticky labels that you print on in the printer, just stick one of them on there, write the address on there, and there you have an envelope. And and you don't need anything shenazzy. Then you can put a sticker right here. Put a Christmas sticker right here. And see like this now. Oh, in there. See there? There's an envelope. And hold. If you want to, if you're worried that that'll come open at the end, which I know it won't. I mean, this the glue will hold it. Um, but you could put some washi tape or put tape it. And that's pretty. I think that's beautiful. And if somebody was to get this in the mail, they say, well, it's pretty. That's what they would say. And so that's this nice. Dossie's oh, wait a second. Let me see. Can I get over here? I have too much junk. Let me just get, let me just turn my chip and get over here and fetch. Oh, could that be possible? Hmm. Well, I think I'm out of glitter, my white glitter stickles, and I just have this stuff. But this is okay, because what I'm going to do here, ooh, because see, now what I'm going to do, this is not stickles, this is liquid pearls. So I'm going to put 
just a spot of this stuff that won't come out. Wait a minute. Let me get a needle. Let me get a needle. Good idea, Miss Gail. I set up my earning board and keep rotating my painty papers till they all get dry. I need to make some gel, gel printed papers real soon on my jelly plate. Because I've used all mine on pages in my journal. Now, see, sometimes we have to yell at our our stuff if it doesn't glue out right. There, now. Never yell at them. Talk nice. Okay, see, so I put the little blue spots right there. And on the green ones, I'll use this little white one. Makes that little spot on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'll just leave that that way to dry. So that's one card. But now that's one card. Now I want to find a try not to make a big fat mess it's hard for me to work and not make a big fat mess i'm gonna let's see what am i gonna do i want to make a i want to make a i want to make a oh look how cute roger and phyllis sent that to somebody Look at the little kitty cats. Now, where's my little, you know, my little thing? Oh, here it is. Let me make sure that's the right one. See, this is the trick. Make sure you have. And and I'm sure that you all have got packaging. And so, um, <laughs> yes, Grace, Papa went to the back 40. He's back there reading. But look at here. Oh, how pretty. Okay, I want this right here. Okay, look at that. And so, see, this is the this is what you really, 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 really need is to have this plastic that comes in packaging and cut it to the size of your bag bottom. Okay, cut it to that size. Then you can lay this on your card that you're going to reuse and find out exactly where you want to cut it. Because if you just try to guess, it's just going to be a pain in the something. It's going to be a pain in something. So I want these kitty cats just like that. And I want my pencil. And I'm going to just trace around with my pencil. Okay, see, so there now I know exactly where I want to cut it because I just used my this. But it's clear, so you got to always try and put it in the same place so you don't lose it. And then we just cut that out. We just cut that image out. And it's going to fit. Now, see, I'm making this one now to fit what they call portrait on the portrait direction they say landscape goes the long way portrait goes the highway highway yeah like high on the highway whatever okay so okay now look at that Okay, did I take another bag out or no, probably not. Okay, get my bag. Back out to be the bag lady. All right, now this time I was oh see this is what I want to do. I want to fold this this away. I guess it really doesn't matter. Because I want and then I'll bone folder it. Look at that. 
moon folder it, and then I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to fold it this way because I want that little thumb tab right there on the inside. So I don't want it on the back side, I want it on the inside. Which that, that doesn't really matter either, but, and then I'll just fold this nicely. Yeah, I, I started saying a couple things. Laureen, when she gets here, she's coming and she's going to spend the day with me. We're going to craft away. And I told her we're going to make Christmas cards. And so, um, um, this is, I says, we're going to make Christmas cards out of these paper bags. And then I found the bags at the Goodwill and I thought, look at there. Was that luck or what? And so, so I says, I'll have the bags. And I was right. I've got them. So now my little kitties are going to fit right there. They fit perfect. And they look beautiful. My daughter and granddaughter, they just got a new kitty. Solid black. There is not one white hair on that kitty. But they got the cat. They were going to just foster the cat. Till the owners could find it a new home. But um, but they fell in love. So they're keeping the cat. So they got him appointment on November the 3rd. He's going to go get his little neutering done. So now see that? Isn't that just lovely? Now we're going to put... put this right here. Let me see. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and cut this off here and then go right here and cut this. See, I polished one hand again can't polish this one because I'm not left-handed. So I can only paint like one. I was watching this lady. Oh, she's got beautiful hands. She sells a lot of stuff on her channel. She sells like metal embellishments and stuff. So I always go check her channel, see if she's got anything I can't live without. That girl's got some nails that must be at least one inch out from her finger. And perfect. They are just perfect nails. And the thing is, she can do anything with those nails. Not this one. I keep one nail long only because I need to scratch things with it. But um, all of the rest of them, I got to keep them clipped right down to the nub. Otherwise, I can't live. And I was watching that girl. She was doing, I mean, she doesn't own myself. She made, does crafts too. But to watch her do crafts. She can just do crafts. She does such a good job. And it's like the nails aren't even in her way. And I'm looking at the nails and I said, how in the world can you do that? Because she does it. She does it. Okay, now let's see. What am I going to do here? Now this is all I have left of this particular card. Oh, so this where it says Merry Christmas. Do I want that to be right there? Or do I want that on the inside? I think I'm going to want that on the inside. And then on this side, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go again with this. Now, let me see. See, now these kitties and this really isn't bad. But wait a minute. Let me see what else I got. I might have more choices. Oh, I know I have more choices. Oh, oh, look at this. Now, look at this. It's like a plaid. Oh, that would be awesome. I got two cutters out here because I got 12 inch paper that won't fit on the little cutter. Although the little cutter is more handy because it's little. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off of there. Now I'm going to need this piece. See, most of my time is spent measuring. 
people I don't usually do this kind of stuff. Now, um, you go ahead and use all caps, honey, if that's what you can see better. Because I know a lot of people, I can see everything you're writing. And, and I don't even have my glasses on. I got my glasses for her. But um, you go ahead. I know you're not yelling. Okay, so you go ahead with your all caps, whatever you can see better. Now, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Now, and then we're going to cut this right in the middle of that green line. Right in the middle of that green line. Right in the middle of that green line. So that measures better if I say right in the middle of the green line. Okay, don't watch it be wrong. Then I'll have to be all embarrassed. <gasps> it's not wrong. It's right. It is perfect. Perfecto mundo. Okay. So, now I could actually go and you even use, there's some cards that I've got more than one. And, um, ouch. Um, there's some cards that I have more than one of the same kind of card. And that works out good too because, like right here. I got two of these. Two of these. So this would be good to if when you have two because then you could you got plenty of card to um I just got a basket for Christmas present. Plenty of card to cut apart and make the whole inside and outside, maybe even the um maybe even the the folder into the back part. Look at that. Now, do I want to say Merry Christmas right here? Because you could put that on there sideways, couldn't you? So I wouldn't want to do it this way because then it just says Merry till you open it. But then this way would say Merry Christmas. Now, I still think I'm going to put it in there. Now, you know what? If I have, do I, oh gosh, if you all saw this bloody mess I have, well, it's not actually bloody. There's no blood here. But I watch all my dear um, people that live in other places, and they have bloody stuff. Oh, oh, I remember I went and after Christmas last year, and... Oh, look, I bought stickers. Is there anything that, okay, I want to kind of, wait a minute, that might be, oh, these, these are more matchy. This is more matchy. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Oh, well, it didn't get off of there. No, well, no, well. Now, so you can see the whole word. You can see it. You can see it. Oh. Yeah. What else do I have over here in this lovely area? Whoa, I have some cool stuff in this Christmas box. I forgot about this since last Christmas. I got more Christmas cards in this box. Oh, Whoa, I'm happy. I'm so happy. Oh, boy, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, I'm not ignoring you guys or anything. Just don't think that I am. Oh, this is a pretty point seven. This is very part of a pretty point setup. Very pretty point setup. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What I'm going to have to do, actually, is I'm going to have to take that box up to the dining room table one day and just go through it and sort through it. I think I might do that tomorrow. Just sort through that box so I can um, know what's in there. Because i got a, one of them 12 by 12 um, iris boxes, and it's stuffed. And, but it's just a whole bunch of stuff that I can't tell what's what. Okay, so I'm, I'll am i have to go through that and make see if I can make some heads and or tails out of it. Oh, because when Laureen comes, we'll probably use stuff in that. Oh, I can't wait till she gets here. She got she was here last year, and we that's when we first met. And oh man, I just love it for sight. You are my sister. You are my sister. Yeah. So I adopted her. She's my sister. Okay, so now this one. And so she's coming in real play. Mona Stevens. Hi. You just got home from work, Mona. Well, I'm glad that you stopped by. I sure am. I sure am. I wish you'd stop by in real life. Real life. All of you. Could you imagine how much fun we'd have? Good night, Susan Hill. I'm, I'm assuming Susan Nil. Susan Nil. Susan Murray Hill. Um, she's my friend. Um, where did I put that? Oh, there it is. My little one. Oh, my little. So I'm getting a pile. See. I am getting a pile, and I had this really, this area was clean. Susan, are you still there? Susan, I just wanted to let you know that I am getting your package together, but there was a few of the things that I didn't have made, and I'm getting them made. So your package is going to be like a day late or two days late, but no more than two. But it's coming. Don't you be worried about that. It's coming. Make sure you get a good package of stuff. Oh, yeah. See, I'm going to do that. And that's going to go there. So pretty. I don't worry too much about real matchy matchy, you know. Look at that, how pretty. It doesn't have to be real matchy matchy. It can be just sort of matchy matchy. There we go. Just as so long as you can see them kitty cats. Now we're going to go inside here. And we're going to do the same thing with this paper. This paper. Quick grief this How can you make such a mess? In how do you do this, Elizabeth? How do you do this? Sometimes I wonder about Elizabeth Murray. Good grief. That won't fit in that one. That, and I know I piled this junk on top of my cutter. Oh, good grief. Let me go stack it right here. I'm just I need like a desk that wraps around me. Um, I, so that I have in front of me, both sides of me, behind me, and a shelf above me. I need all this. If I can design myself a room like that and get somebody built. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, now. Now I'm going to go like this and cut a four by. Wait a minute. Four and a quarter by three and three quarters. Four and a quarter by three and three quarters. Four and a quarter by three and three quarters. Four and a quarter by three and three quarters. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then this will go right here. Right here. 
Oh, I did it. I did it. Now, this one, this piece is going to be two and a half by, yeah, two and a half by that. Two and a half. So that's all you have to remember is that you just cut three pieces to go in here. And you can use just Christmassy paper, plain paper, or no paper. Just put, because if you have the colored bed, maybe you would just put snowflakes or something on it. You just don't know. You just, because see, you just, once you start putting it together, things, things will just happen. You'll say, oh, that's perfect. Or you'll say, oh, that doesn't look good. And so there, you don't have to like follow a direction. The only direction to follow on this one is to um, don't put it on the fold so that it'll fold good. But, I mean, even if you did put the whole thing on the fold and then you just fold it in, in gray air, this thing in, you know, squish it, squish it with your squisher. That's all you have to do. But use up your old cards. Now this here beautiful paper that I have, I wouldn't have it if my dear Wendy friend did not send it to me. She sent it to me. She so sent this to me. I'm still like holy smokes. I was just whole I just keep seeing holy smokes because it's so beautiful. So many people have sent me beautiful stuff. I feel like Cinderella. I feel like Cinderella. At one time of my life, I felt like Cinderella scrubbing the floors. But now I feel like Cinderella that has met her handsome prince. And I have my glass slippers and everything. There, now, see? Now those are all. Now the front is good. This is good. Now where'd I put that Mer Christmas thing? I want that Mer Christmas. There it is. This is going to live right here. Oh, it's going to need red too. It's going to need sometimes, or green even would be pretty if you um put a little, just to layer it and put a little kind of a frame around it. And, um, and, um, yeah, green would have been nice too, but I like the red. It doesn't matter, you know, just whatever. Just whatever. Yep. Lift, did she leave again? Oh, okay. Yeah, she's in and out a lot. Miss Susan, she does not feel good. She's got a bad problems with her health. And so she's in and out a lot. I mean, bless her heart. She's got some serious health problems. I wish I could fix her, but my magic wand is not working. Yeah, she made an order out of my Etsy, but I have not got everything finished for the order, so it's going to that's what I'm doing tomorrow is I'm focusing on that order. Oh, I got two of them orders to go out tomorrow. Get them fixed. That's pretty. Merry Christmas. Okay, so if I put this here, if I put Merry Christmas, or now, wait a minute, I have a verse too. What do I have here? With love and best wishes. So if I cut that out and see, see how that one was signed underneath, but they didn't sign on the actual little verse, I can use that. I mean, it's just a little, little, um, it just says, with love and best wishes. So sometimes if you like what it says, you just go ahead and use them too. I mean, it's like going to the, it's like getting free craft supplies. Like getting free craft supplies. And who in the world would not want free craft supplies? So I think I'm going to make little round corners on that okay now 
how will I do that? I'll put this here and this. Well, maybe I want the Mary. Oh, look. I'm going to put that one right there. I'm put this one right here. And then, did I have another piece of red? Yes, I did. Right, right here. So I'm going to put this. And I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Then I'm going to cut around that. See, so you just plan as you go. And you will come up with probably the best. That was crooked. I had to uncrook it that one. Can't have it crooked. Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline Haley. Hand of the Queen. Papa just doesn't know. She tells us such wonderful things about him. Good thing he's good things he stays hidden or we might all want him. <laughs> My papa. I told him I was gonna put him on Craigslist and sell him. I said, I'll put you on Craigslist. I could get lots of money. Lots of money. He says, No, nobody would be paying you. Not for me. Yeah. He is worth his weight in gold. No, he's worth more than that. If I had his weight in gold, what would I do with that gold? I couldn't do nothing. My gold wouldn't drive me to the store, nothing. He wouldn't kiss me goodnight, a gold bullion, no. I'm keeping him. Okay, so there, now then, and then I'm going to round those corners. Jacqueline, I like that name, Jacqueline. Here's some of my favorite names that I just, I never did even like Elizabeth when I was growing up. I did not like that name. I said, why did my mother name me Elizabeth of all names? And um, I was just better than Minnie, you know, I almost got stuck with Minnie. But um, I think I told you the story about my, because I was in Minnesota, Minnesota I was born in. My maiden name, Soda, S-O-T-A, that was my maiden name. I almost got named Minnie. And then I would have been Minnie Soda for Minnie Soda. Oh, gosh. I'm glad I didn't get named Minnie, though, because there ain't nothing Minnie about me. Nothing. Maybe my brain. But other than that, nothing Minnie. So, I'm quite... May the gifts of this season fill your heart with joy. I'm quite happy that I didn't get married, named Minnie. And now I like the name Elizabeth. But everybody called me Liz in school and stuff, you know, because I thought Liz was cooler than, than Elizabeth. And my daddy called me Lizzie. And I didn't mind that, but that was for my dad. And now so many people call me Lizzie. I call myself Lizzie. My husband calls me Elizabeth. He loves the name. And I love the name too now. Now I do. Now that I'm old. Older. You know I'm almost 70. My children says, you're only 69. I said, I know, but I'm almost 70. Oh, look at there. See, that'll fit right there. I can't believe how old I am till 70. You know, 70 seems like such a big number. 70. Think about it. 70. That's okay. Probably never be 69 because I'm almost 70. Look at there. See, now I got this over here. This right here. Then, oh, and then, oh, I didn't finish this. This goes right here. This will go here. I was Phyllis Diana, but when adopted at six weeks, I was named Jacqueline Patricia. Phyllis Diana. I love the name Diana. Phyllis is not bad either. But it makes me think of Phyllis Diller and she's so funny. You were adopted at six weeks of age. Wow. I kind of like adoption stories. Now, 
Yeah. How do you feel being adopted? How does it make you feel? I'm always interested in how people feel being adopted. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Lisa. Yeah, I guess that's none of my business, really. I shouldn't have even asked you that. I guess I only asked you because, you know why? Because I'm a birth mother. I'm a birth mother. So that's why I asked you that. I always wonder how adopted children feel that they're adopted. I always wonder that. Oh, this one would be pretty if I, um, I love these snowflakes. Aren't they pretty? Oh, you were adopted by your aunt. Oh. I was almost adopted by my aunt. I, my aunt wanted me, but my dad wouldn't let her. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, I got a lot of stories. I got a lot of stories to tell. All right, my stories are all happy. All my stories have happy endings. You were adopted by your aunt. Aunt. I love the name Jacqueline. Yes. I am a birth mother. And can I have been reunited? Yeah, I think I've told that story to most of you. Happiest day of my life. Happiest. Okay, then I'm going to put this here. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to just leave this. Oh, this part just blank because this is a place where you can sign. And then I'm going to... Let's see, and I'm going to go back to this paper here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty paper. A page I would cut off of. I cut off of a page. God, I got the air conditioner on and it's still hot in here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I left it over here. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Boy, it's going to be so much fun when Lorraine gets here. I'm looking forward to having her. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this thing right here. Oh, my gosh, this paper is like to die for. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. See there? Now that's two. I'm going to fold them half. Half and two, I'm doing the same thing on this one as I did the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to also cut that same, the same paper with these stamps because it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to cut that to right there. I'm going to just make a little mark with my, heck with that measuring stuff. I'll just make a little mark. Hi, Debbie Hayes. How are you today? Good to see you. Okay, now I'm going to, yeah, 
perfect. I'm going to put a little bit of red around like that. Pretty. Oh, I need a snowflake on there. And then I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to have to get busy. Last year I sent out so many Christmas cards. I don't know if I'll get that many sent out this year. But I'm hoping to get a few sent out. But I know whenever... Because see, this just... Actually, I could probably... Um, Good night, Johanna. Good night, my dear Johanna. You have a good sleep. You have a good sleep. Here it's getting kind of late too. It's like 1034. I'm going to have to buy a new clock. We have a clock in our dining room that gives you the date, the time, and the day of the week. When we went to change the time, when the time changed, the day of the week quit showing. And um, that's mainly what we need because we never know what day of the week it is. Once you retire, you have not got a clue. And so, hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Yes. Oh, Debbie, you liked the boho bead? I'm going to make some more of the long ones. I didn't have enough long ones to send to everybody. So, But in this bag, I got pens that I've taken apart, the ones that don't work. I've been going through all my gel pens to um, the one, because I got so many that are in, the, that in a box that don't work. So I'm going through them and... Um, taken out the barrels so I can make more of the long vocal beats. So I've got quite a few there. Tomorrow after I finish my orders, I think I'm going to I'm going to work on those. Okay, so there here we go now. There I would cut no, it needs one more snowflake. I can't call that finished till it has one snowflake right here. Yes, that needs a snowflake right there. But see, out of your Christmas cards come, and the Christmas card that this came from wasn't anywhere as beautiful as this. You know what, Lizzie? We could use a clock that has the days of the week. Yes, yep, it's, you know, this clock would give the time and it, Big, big, big numerals. And then and then it would say, like today, it would say Thursday, November 8th. It, all of that on there. But now the day of the week just stays on Sunday. So it's Sunday all the time now. And so I think I'm going to have to order me nothing. Because we, I mean, we look at that clock so many times every day. And because I... And we first bought that when I went to go do, get my blood work done on a Sunday and wondered why it was closed. And then it was a while before we realized it was Sunday. That's why everything was closed. And I says, we got to do something about this. <laughs> oh, it was funny, really. Okay, so what do you, you like that one? Isn't that nice? I love these. And then with a little extra card inside or tags. I mean, if you're sending, a lot of people send pictures with their with their greeting cards. You could do that. Now, see, this one I didn't glue the bag part. You don't have to really glue the bag part. That's one I did. I did glue. Let me see. That's pretty dry. Whoops. This one I did glue. The bag part shut. You can do that. I mean, the gusset. You can glue the gusset shut if you want to, but you don't have to. This is the 
This is this this way. Stand up one. Yeah, this one. Oh no, I did them both this way. Boy, am I losing my mind. I thought I did one one way and the other, but I didn't. Both of these are stand up um, this way. I bet you noticed that, and you probably were saying, oh, Elizabeth, you're losing your mind. But now, see, well, now I don't have enough. What time is it? I don't even really have enough time to do a whole nother one. But, oh, that's got a bad corner on that bag. You don't want no bad corners. Let's put that back in there. I think that too worrying. Um, now, see. Yeah, these, these, I gotta iron that one. That one needs to be ironed. Oh, well, I started, I started this, this one. Yeah, I started this one. Now, if you're gonna make this style where you have your image um, landscape this way, you can do that. And then what I, Then you get the whole card to stand up. See this? You can get the whole card to just stand. So and this one, you don't really, I mean, you know, I would because I just would, is to, I cover, this bag's crooked. That one's very crooked. Oh, I would not send that to you because it's crooked. Yeah, yeah, it could be Sunday all time. I don't mind that either. If it's always Sunday, these ones are wrinkled. I gotta open them. That might be what uh, that one fell on the floor. That's why it won't go any farther than the floor. Let me open this one because I I might still go and buy some. I wonder if they have bags of like multi colors. But I might go get, I'd like to have some blue ones. The blue backgrounds, I think those would be pretty. Oh, see, now this one's all straight and everything. So, but now if you want to make it where the card is going to be landscaped, landscape shape. Okay, now where did I put my thing? Is this my thing here? Make sure that's the right one. Yep, that's my thing. If you come in late, now if you're going to make these paper bag cards, be sure and get you a piece of plastic, um, a piece of plastic um, packaging and cut yourself a piece, measure your bottom, your, measure your bottom. And, um, <laughs> oh gosh, um, the bottom of your bag. The very bottom, because that's where your main picture is going to be. Measure that and then cut, cut your plastic to match that color, that cut that bottom of your bag. Um, I cut mine a quarter of an inch less on both ways, so I got a little bit of a frame around. And then you go through your cards. You look in your, you look in your cards. Okay, that one doesn't quite get on there. And see, when you have this, when you have this here little template thing, template thingy, then um, you can, I'm looking through some cards here to see if I can find something that I do believe. I want to find something that is small enough. There's so many different kinds of, oh, this is pretty. There's a little, oh, so, oh I like this one. This is cute. Okay, this is, oh, I like this one. There's um, Santa's sleigh and his reindeer, but Santa is taking a walk into the church. Now, I can't, oh, 
So if I cut that, yeah, I got to get all of Santa. I can't get the church steel, but I can get the little reindeer and I can get Santa. And you can see, oh, if I do like this, then you see the whole church door. So you'll know that's a church. And um, then my pencil is lost right here. Here it is. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Now, oh, wait a minute. But is that going to cut? That's going to, that's going to cut into that. Oh, yeah, I'd have to cut Santa off. So I have to, I'd have to have one or the other. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to be this way. I just won't get that verse. Oh, there it is. You see that? How that made that mess just came in here all by itself? I didn't make that mess. If I'd have made it, I'd have noted it. I'd have noted it if I'd have made it. I didn't make it. Somebody came in here and made it. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, so you can still see that Santa's going into the church. And I got that pencil line. I want that pencil line. Okay, yeah. So this is going to go right here. Oh, you know, I made, I wonder what I did with that other one I made earlier. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, so this is going to go like this, and it's just fine. I'm going to go ahead and glue that one on there because that's all that's going to go right there on the front. And see, now that's the landscape direction of the image. That's pretty. That one's going to get a snowflake too. Or two. A snowflake or two. You see this church. The church steeple. What else was on this card? Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay. Oh, this. Now, this is going to have to go on the inside. That's going on the inside. Oh, that will be perfect. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'm going to put this steeple of the church right here. Yes. So, and I'm going to put that, I'll cut that right where I can just see the steep. I think. Well, man, I cut that too short, I think. Well, can you tell that's the steep? Well, you'll still be able to tell that's the steep, or. Right? Yeah, well, at least I'll know it's the steeple. I will know. Because I'm going to put this right here. And then people will say, oh, that goes there, then that goes there. That's what people will say. So I'm going to put this right here. Ah, do you know? Never mind, I'm not going to do that. I've run across images of vintage Santas, but they have a sword and shield attached to their belts. Couldn't find any information on them. I What if they represent Nicholas Bishop of Myra? Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Now, now i got to go look real quick. Let me look real quick on these. Let's see if these images... No, none of these images have Santa with anything else. Hmm. No, in fact, there's not much. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now, so this way now, I'm going to put, 
Now see this. Oh no, this is going to go up here. The whole thing is going to be kind of squish or squash all around, but it's okay. Squish or squash. Or. There's nothing wrong with it. squish or squash. Or. So I'm going to just put that right on there. So see, the church is all there. It's just in pieces all over the place. You know what I bought? I bought a picture. I bought, um, speaking of pieces, I make Jeffrey a, a, um, I'm making Jeffrey a advent calendar box. Let me see. Do I have it right here? I found this at the thrift shop a long while ago. It was sometimes in June or something. Well, one the straps, one only one strap is intact. This one's a little ripped and this one is off. But I'm gonna I'm gonna fix them somehow. I'm gonna fix those snaps so they're but each has a drawer for 24 drawers. And and I'm going to cover the whole thing is gonna be decorated in Christmas. Oh, that's a part there, Jeff. To re glue that, it's going to be decorated in Christmas. But I bought a puzzle, it's 48 pieces. Puzzle, it's a Spider Man puzzle. But uh, I'm gonna put two pieces in each box so when he gets that, uh, so that by the when he as he opens up the, each day, he'll get two pieces of the puzzle. And it is going to be, I mean, and I got other little tiny things that will go in there too. And then I'm going to get like a bag of Hershey Kisses. And so there'll be maybe a Hershey Kiss or Tootsie Roll in each one too. So, and I want to put a, just a little verse in each one. A little quote of some kind is going to be in each one too. So there's going to be a bunch of little things in there, which I think will be fun. And I think that he is going to enjoy that. And um, and yeah, he's gonna like that. That's gonna be fun. So I gotta work on that real soon too. You know, I just won't I can't find my stuff. <gasps> Hi, Lorena. How nice to see you. Yes. Oh, it is. Such, I just see people just pop it in, and then they go all over to bed, and then they pop that in, and you know, people come in new, and it's. 62 people viewing. Do you know what that does to my heart? I just, I'm just, I am, I am blessed. I don't know if you know about blessing, but I am blessed to have all of my dear peoples. That's you, you guys. Okay, now this is going to be, this is going to, oh, I know what to do with this. I'm going to cut that just right above baby Jesus' little head. Don't worry, little baby Jesus. I'm not going to cut your head. Now, is that going to do? Yes, that'll be fine. I don't want to cut your halo off either. I'm going to cut right there. Now, this is going to go here. And then this is going to go here. And so it'll have a little space in between. And it's all okay. I am happy. Okay. So see, now this is, see, there was a lot of writing on this card. But it's all being glued down. So your used Christmas cards or anything, birthday cards, you can make any kind of a card out of a paper bag. And... I just love getting handmade cards. I just love handmade cards. I have gotten this past birthday. I just had a birthday with Lesnable. And I never, I, I've never gotten this many cards. Never. Hi, Christine. Oh, goodness. I've never gotten this many cards. And so many of them were handmade cards. And oh, my goodness. I mean, even the ones that weren't handmade were amazing. And, um. Oh, I like this. Now, see, I want that. Oh, you know what? I am going to put, 
I was thinking maybe I didn't need to put anything here, but I do because main reason being is that I want it to hold straight. So here I'm going to cut because it wants to like bend. I don't want it to bend. I mean, not like that. Oops, whoops, as I drop things. So then this one. I got, I, okay, four and a half. I should remember this. Four and a half by two and a half. Four and a half by two and a half. So I want four and a half by two, four and a half by two and a half. So two and a half, we'll do it this way. Two and a half. And then we do this way, four and a half. Okay, and now that will go here. So I want that to be more sturdy. And I that'll look better anyway, I think. It'll be more sturdy. And gosh, I love this paper. I love this paper. You know what? I just whispered that thing. I you know, I sometimes I'll just put it in in um Barbara Ferris. Did I say hello to you, love? My goodness, 62 people. Um, so sometimes I'll be working and I'll just put the videos, just keep playing one after another. And then I, one came on and the person doing the video was whispering, just whispering, just whispering, just whispering. And I thought, why is she whispering? Then come to find out, there is a whole lot of people that whisper, only whisper, while they're doing their videos. And there's four letters. I don't know what they, what it is, but um, but they whisper the whole time. I didn't watch her because I couldn't hear her because she's whispering. The and apparently there is a. A lot of people that like those. I never heard of that. But they just whisper the whole the whole video. You can I think you can look up whispering videos or something and find them. But their whole speaking is whispering. I don't know how to whisper. <laughs> I've tried to whisper before. Like I whisper something. If I'm at the movies with my daughter, I whisper something. She goes, hush, you're disturbing people. I'm just whispering. I'm just whispering. Uh-huh. I, <laughs> I, I read a joke one time. In fact, I think I read it in the Reader's Digest. I'm not kidding. But um, no, no, then I lost my ruler. But this joke had to do with a grandma and a grandpa were taking care of their little boy, the little grandson. And but the, the all the time when a little grand oh there's my ruler. All the time when a little grandson had to uh, go to the bathroom, he said, I gotta pee. And um that's usually what kids say, you know, they got to pee. And um, so there was good, grandma and grandpa was, grandma and grandpa was going to the um, church and they were to a little boy. And um, so they left little boy in the Sunday school because he's just a little boy. And, but grandma said, now, hi, Barb Owen. The grandma said to the little boy, he said, she said, don't say that you have to pee. You will use a different word. And so they said, let's just say if you need to, you just tell us that you have to whisper. Gasp. Then I'll know you need to go to the bathroom. And so he was, he was. Telling the Sunday school teacher that he had to whisper, and the Sunday school teacher told him, "Whisper in my ear." I just thought that was pretty funny. I maybe shouldn't have said that, but I just thought that was pretty funny. It was a long time ago I read that too. 
how could I still remember it? Why don't I remember all the capitals of the states when I remember the joke? <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Yeah. It's funny, the stuff we remember. Yeah. Yep. Hi, Connie Monroe. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to be on much longer because I pretty much used up my two hours. Because I have a limit. I limit myself to two hours. And um, now, there we go. And you know what I'm going to do now on this one? Now, see, this one is going to need, okay, up here. Okay, I'm going to up here to do the same thing. I'm going to do that one inch, and I'm going to put this in here. Then it matches the back. So make that one too at one inch. And what I'm doing, ladies, who just come in, I'm using a paper bag, and I'm using recycling greeting cards. So I'm taking the greeting cards apart and putting them back together. In a new card. And so. Just a minute. I'm almost. Through, and, and I'm doing. I did a couple of the, the. Portrait style. And this one. Is landscape. I wonder if I can punch a plaid. You know that might be pretty. A plaid snowflake. Get out of here. That's not a snowflake, Elizabeth. This is a snowflake. I think a plaid snowflake would be oh, Okay. Yes, it would. Now, I think that's perfect. I like it that way. Who says a snowflake has to be white? Let us. Lorraine. I see somebody say hello to Lorraine. Lorraine, is it Lorraine? Was it Lorraine Chubb? Oh, I didn't see her. If it's her, that's my friend. Lorraine, I gotta, I gotta scroll back and see if it's Lorraine. Oh, it is. It is my Lorraine. When are you leaving, Lorraine? Lorraine, look at all these eggs. I found all these bags at the Goodwillie. We're going to make Christmas cards. These are them. These are the Christmas cards, Lorraine. We're going to make them when you get your butt over here. I mean, I want your whole body over here, not just your butt. Yeah. That's what. You haven't left Canada yet? Oh, you need to get the show on the road. Get the show on the road, Lorraine. Get that truck moving. Yes. That's who's coming to see me all the way from, she's coming all the way to Florida just to see me from Canada. Yeah, maybe that's not the exact reason she's coming, but I could pretend. And so, look at these plaid snowflakes. Man, this is wonderful. These are pretty. We're going to have so much fun, Lorraine. No, I sure won't be eating yellow snow. I hope the snow stays away from me. Yeah, I don't want real snow. Uh -uh. No, don't give me any real snow. I had it when I was young. I missed it when we left Minnesota. But now that I'm um, like older on this high level in the game of life, I don't think that I really want to have snow. But then it does get kind of hot down here. I see here I am still got the air conditioner on right now as we speak. Oh, I wonder if I would want to put, see the other side of this paper is like green. I could go up here and put a green snowflake. Get out of here, geez. Oh, you should be here by November 15th. Can't wait to make that. Oh, I know it. It's going to be awesome. 
Oh, we can tell stories. And we can make our bad books. I mean, our bad cards. And then, oh, see how that one sits up now? Oh, why do I want to turn it that way? Like, like you're gonna, like you're looking at me through the computer. See, see that? Can you see? Well, let me turn it up here. See there, like this. It kind of just sits like this, like this, like that. It sort of sits back. It sort of sits like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take this piece right here, and I'm going to cut this right here. And then this is going to be the little card with all good wishes for Christmas and the new year. So I'll cut that. I mean, cut. I'm not cutting that. I'm just folding this right here. The Dollar Tree has those little lunchbag size goodie bags in lovely metallic paper, metallic red and green muslin. Yes. And you see them at the Dollar Tree? We have a brand new Dollar Tree. Brand, well, actually, I don't think it's even open. It was um, it was the family dollar, and Dollar Tree bought it out. And the last couple of days, I know they've been just stacking stock in the store. And so they should be open any day now. And, oh, man, that would be awesome. The metallics, yes. They will, oh, no, I want this. They will be awesome. Now, how do I want this? I want this to be, ooh. That's good. I am glad that Karen bought. Yes, I think that would be perfect. Those would be perfect. Got to get them for Lorraine gets here. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Now this, now let me see. Let me have this red here because I'm going to put this on the front of the insert card and like in this bag part like i said if you come in late um in this this little card that i'm making here fits inside of this this here piece that's made by the bottom of the bag so um you can there is where you would add if you're sending a lot of people send pictures with cards but you can put the picture in there or you can you know write a letter put the letter in the card in that pocket um if you're going to stick money put the money and mail it i'll give you my address but not really i'm just kidding i got enough money um i was just trying to be funny again you know like red skeleton and so there we go. Now see, so then this is a nice, you could even make, you could even make an envelope to match this card. Okay, I don't have time to do an envelope, but you can, you could make an envelope to match this card. Then if you were to put like a gift card in here or something, then that would be so perfect. And so the card, then, you know, it would be, this is how the card would come. Maybe I would put something right here too. I don't know. You know, maybe I would. Just a little piece of this. You know what? I will. I just, and when you're doing something like this, if you're like me anyway, because I'm kind of weird. No, I'm not weird. I'm going to quit calling myself weird. My husband said I need to call calling me weird. He's going to wash my mouth with soap. Okay, so if I cut this, if I cut this, because that plane is just kind of plain, because when the receiver takes it out of the bag, um, when the person who receives it takes it out of the bag, wait a minute, I'm going to cut this at four, that four and a half. So I want this one to be four and a quarter. Okay, that's what I want there, correct? Oh, no, because I'm going to put red around it. So I have another little bit, tiny bit off of there. 
and then this is going to be cut to right there on that little green dot. See, of course, everybody, you, you know that you'll have to measure. I don't give you the measurements because all the bags are going to be different. Whatever bag you use, it's going to be different. What did I do? How did I cut that all wrong? I am such a dweeb. That's okay. That's okay. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it that way. It's fine. I, I didn't measure. I I'm getting in a hurry. Good night, Jacqueline. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Jacqueline. Okay, and so I'm just going to go ahead and and cut and then I'll, then I'll cut this see i was trying to rush and when you rush don't don't ever rush take your time take your time if it doesn't get done it doesn't get done you know do what i say when i look at the dishes if they don't get done they don't get done. if i leave them there long enough the hubster will go so take your time somebody will go okay see now now I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And that that kind of finishes that kind of finishes that up nicely. So I'm going to put that right there. Now that's all that needs. Now that way when the receiver pulls the card out of out you know what? Out of the package. Let me see. Did I have another scrap of that? A scrap, a little scrap will do you? No, yes, this one. Okay, and then this one. Because I'm going to, just to make it match, I'm going to go with these. I'm just a snowflake making fool tonight, aren't I? And I'm going to just put, I'm going to put the snowflakes even over here and you know what that does is it kind of makes the whole thing matching makes it kind of a matching it makes it kind of blend together a little bit better so because this is a vintage look and this is not by putting the little things here it does and so then this little card goes inside here and whatever else i might put in there and I can take, like I did before on the others. Oh, if I do this, though, then I lose one of my steeple. Oh, they're not going to know it's a steeple anyway. So I'm going to go like this to make a little thumb, thumb doohickey. So then you know that there's, you can still see the steeple. Oh, I love it. I think it turned out good. So here we have the landscape style. And here we have the portrait style, landscape and portrait, landscape and portrait. And I think that, you, and you use, you just use your, um, use your, these are all used greeting cards. And although I did use some scrapbooking paper along with it, um, designer papers you don't have to you can just use the um just use the the greeting cards and and remember to make your template make your template this is very important because then you can scoot that all over your card to see exactly what you want to cut out now because you can't hardly see here i would put it just like because here's um, Mary and Joseph, the wise men, there's the baby Jesus. And see, you would, you know, just to try and cut that and get it the right size, it would be a little hard. But by doing it, by using the template and then going over your card, move it around until you find exactly what you want to cut, trace around it and cut it. And you've got the perfect size that'll fit at the bottom of your bag. And it's just beautiful. I love it. I think they're just gorgeous. And then, like I said, you can make an a envelope. Um, I made an envelope, but it grew legs and walked away. That test. See how my stuff just grows legs and walks away? 
Well, I don't know where the envelope went, but I did make the envelope. I swear. I swore. I swore. Oh, there it is. See there? I just, and this envelope, all I did was took a piece of this scrap paper, glued it up to two sides, and there the card fits in there like circumcifically. Look at that. And there it is. Put a little label on there to write the address. Stamp. Send it in the mail. So you can make an envelope. Simple Simon. Simple. Okay. I want to thank you all for coming. You just have made my day. And now I can hardly wait till next Thursday so I can see you all again. And it's my mess. See, there wasn't a mess here when, when we first got here, was there? And it just, but look at, I got three cards made. Three cards made in two hours. Probably if I didn't run my mouth so much, I'd have more. No, I think I got. Well, this one's not completely finished. There's four cards. Put them cards. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love them. And so, yes, and like somebody said that check the check the um Dollar Tree. I'm definitely I think I might have the hubster bring me picture tomorrow and I'm gonna see what they have as far as his bags. But if they've got the metallic ones at our Dollar Tree, I'd be happy, 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 joy, joy. I'd be and so I'm going to have him, I will have him take me up there tomorrow. Because I still got some, see, it just, we just, I just paid all my bills and I got extra. I got a little bit extra this month and I'm, and because it's Christmas, I mean, because it's, you know, it's not Christmas this month. But, um, be, yeah, I'm going to have him bring me up there because I got stuff to do. People to see, places to go, things to make, things to make. That's what I meant. Okay. Look at see, I gotta cut pop. Um, okay, I'll do that later. I gotta pop some. I gotta pop some. You know what I gotta do? Pop some them snowflakes. Okay, but I'm gonna read to you, and I read your bedtime story. Okay, now this comes from my power thought cards by Louise Hay. Love her, love her, love her. It says, "I am safe. It's only change." I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. And all you have to do is believe that. Power thoughts. This is power. Everything I touch is a success. I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as, success, as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Everything I touch is a success. And you can put that into anything that you do. If you're working, if you're retired, anything you do. Okay. Everything I think is creating my future. The universe totally supports every thought I choose, think, and believe. I have unlimited choices about what I think. I choose balance, harmony, and peace. And I express it in my life. Now, those are very good. Those are very good. And even this is, is very good for a young person, very good for even us who are at the higher levels in this game of life. And so, very good. I just love these positive. I, I love anything positive. I love quotes and things anywhere. But, um, yes, these are wonderful cards, Barb. Louise Hay is one of my most favorite um inspirational speakers what whatever do you call them i don't know she is awesome i mean we lost a lovely lady when we lost her gosh i can't believe it's been over a year ago that she passed away okay now that's it i want to just say that i love you all so much and i 
am looking forward to see you on my next video. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And yes, I will see you on the next video. God bless. And then we need mouse. Here's a mouse. Stop broadcast. Love you guys.